Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video, which is prompted by a question, uh, prompted by a question for one of my students, he's wondering uh, with a curved ceiling he has in his airport design, how he's going to put a ceiling in there that matches the contour of the of the roof. So uh, he's got a curved roof on his uh, airport, and what he wants to do is put in a curved ceiling. I'm not certain exactly what he wants in regard to the ceiling, whether he wants to detach to the roof or offset from the roof, but let me show you two different alternatives. One alternative is to take a curved roof like this and actually put an acoustic ceiling tile on it as part of the roof uh, construction in a way. So if we uh, look at this in regard to our uh, visual style, maybe medium, or even uh, fine, both of those show the same thing, but what I have in here is actually acoustic ceiling tile as part of the, the components in the roof. It's more appropriate to have it in here than it is on the outside because on the outside it's eventually going to get weathered and probably fall apart. It would be rather unattractive in no time at all. So I might want to alter my roof uh, to uh, accommodate that. But just to show you what that, uh, what that, uh, or how you do that, and you do that the very same way you modify a floor, like when you put in a second floor, you could also put the ceiling on for the first floor as part of the second floor. You could do the very same thing to the roof. So if you go to edit type, and I'll show you what I've done because I've already done that. I put acoustic ceiling tile, a one inch, uh, you know, section of acoustic ceiling tile in the very bottom of the core boundary in regard to the roof. So the very top is the roofing asphalt and then you have a sheathing and the structure in regard to the roof below that within the core boundary which defines structure. Now outside of the core structure and the inside of the building it's going to be the acoustic ceiling tile. So the dilemma here is you can't create a, cur uh, a sketched uh, ceiling or a ceiling by extrusion like you can with a roof. So if you look up here at the roof uh, tab, you have an option by roof by footprint. We've also played by roof by extrusion, but you don't have the very same option with the ceiling. Ha it has to be on a level and it has to be horizontal. So kind of a dilemma. So here's a workaround, and this might be more appropriate for this situation here. So let's do that. Let's go to roof, and this time let's do roof by extrusion. And we're going to pick a plane. And what we're going to do before we pick that plane, oops, let me get to an elevation view so I, can, so I can actually pick that plane. And I believe I'm looking at the west side of the building. So if we, whoop, whoop, where's elevations? There we go. If I go to the west elevation, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this uh, side wall over here in order to put that roof in. So again, roof by extrusion. And we're going to click uh, select none up here. We're going to pick a plane. And we're going to pick this plane here. Uh, it doesn't really matter what level we put on. We're not going to have any offsets right now. So we're just going to go to OK. And we're going to sketch that roof. Now one thing we want to do is we want to select that line. So we want to make sure that not to select line, but you want to uh, pick lines. And what, we, what it does is it allows us to pick geometry that's already out there in order to do our sketching. So initially we're going to pick that line. And we're going to go to the offset. So let's say we're going to offset that uh, probably only a couple inches. Maybe uh, three inches, four inches. So go to offset. We're going to click in this line to offset it. And uh, yeah, if we click in that line, it should give us uh, the ability with a um, a dimension. We should be able to put a dimension on that to give us the offset distance. It didn't quite work the way I thought it was going to. Let's try that again. Offset. Here we go. Don't forget our options bar up here. Oh, I did. <laughs> Shame on me. So instead of one foot, we're going to make that four inches. Okay, now if we click in this line, the line we just drew, the line we just borrowed, we can click it on that side, we click it on this side, and uh, away we go. We don't really want this line up here, so we're going to delete that. We're going to delete this line too, and then we're going to take this line, we're going to move this in on the inside of our, of our wall. We're going to go ahead and uh, modify this later, but this way it keeps us from having acoustic ceiling tile outside. So now that we're all done, and we're just going to pick this as a basic uh, uh, roof that we're going to do. We're going to go to the green check mark. Click on our roof. Let's do this. Let's go to the 3D view and take a look at that. And let's see if we can pull that out a little bit. Because right now it went inside of our building. But we're going to pull that out so we can actually look at it and see it a little bit better. Go in there. We're going to edit it just like we've done a uh, hundred times before. But this time we're going to duplicate it. And we're just going to call that actually ceiling rather than roof. How about the ceiling only? And then we'll call that ACT for acoustic ceiling tile. And go to OK. Go to Edit. Let's take out our finish. We'll delete that. Substrate, we'll delete that. Structure. 
Uh, let's go ahead and call that ceiling acoustic ceiling tile. I think it's up at the very top. We'll make it a two by four foot and go to OK. Instead of structure, let's just do finish. I think it'll allow us to do that. In regard to thickness, we'll make that one inch. And go to OK. And go to OK. There's an acoustic ceiling tile. So if we swing that around, you actually see see some of the structure and texture associated with that. Pretty cool, I think. Let's go back to that uh, that section view. And then we'll make some uh, final modifications to that in that section view. And I believe that was our first north-south. Yeah, that's it. So if you click on that, let's go to Edit Profile. Boop, where'd it go? Yeah, I may not have that actually sticking out through that uh, section. So let's go ahead and uh, go to our floor plan and take a look at that and see where that roof is. Roof plan. Okay, there's a the roof we just drew. It does intersect that boundary. But we're going to exaggerate that a little bit. At a profile, and let's do the the elevation, the north-south elevation, looking east. And for some reason, it's just not showing up here. So tell you what, I'm going to end this video right now. I'm going to figure out what's wrong with that and why we can't edit that, and then we'll go back and uh, finish this up in the next film.